Hi, I'm Scott from the uh, shop at Menchie Music, and I'm going to demonstrate how to wipe down a bow and a violin uh, after you're done playing it. One of the things to remember uh, whenever you play a string instrument is the rosin does get on the bow and on the strings and body of the instrument every time you play. And it needs to be wiped down, just like you, you learn how to uh, brush your teeth every morning. This is something that you should do every time you play. <coughs> so the easiest part is you get yourself a rag, like these are uh, sold at any uh, music store, and you take that rag and you just lightly wrap it around the shaft of the bow and you wipe it back and forth being careful that you don't touch the bottom part the bottom hair of the bow okay if you do this every time uh, <clears throat> you're done playing your instrument you will not need to do anything it's a nice dry rag you don't need to dampen it or anything you shouldn't uh, put anything on the rag that would get all the rosin off uh, you need to remember that uh, every time you're done playing you should loosen your bow about this much, you want to be careful, you don't want to loosen it too much because the screw can come out and then your bow is nice and clean and ready to be played the next time. <clears throat> to clean the strings off on your instrument, all you need to do is to take the same cloth and lightly rub on the tops of the strings, very gently, you want to be careful that you don't bump the bridge too much. Then you can also take that same cloth and feed it underneath and lightly wipe all the rosin that would be underneath your <coughs> strings and near your bridge and fingerboard. Again, be very, very careful. You can do this very gently that you don't want to bump the feet of the bridge because you don't want to move that at all. Then you'll have to have it reset if you do. And again, you can feed it underneath and wipe all the rosin that you might have off of that. If you get any fingerprints <coughs> on this, you can at that time also take your cloth and wipe the rest of the body of the instrument off. Uh, there are different types of cleaners that you can buy at uh, a store. This is a violin polishing cleaner that you can use to clean the body of the instrument. This is something that you don't need to do every time. You can do this maybe once a month or once every couple months. It's something that will last. You don't need to be cleaning that all the time. Uh, one thing you don't uh, want to do is you don't want to use any kind of furniture polish or wax type uh, uh, polishes on, on the uh, surface of the violin.